Hello, fans. We are on episode... No, wait. Episode 5, is it? I know it's day 2, at least. So, um... Let's see what kind of progress we can make it just today. Uh... Yeah. So, um... We recently completed... My TV so I can see what's going on easier. I'm tired of looking at the little computer screen down there. Um, because YouTube doesn't provide a big enough screen for me. Because you cannot record with full screen. Anyway, um, where are we going next? We're going to uh, Trisha Trove, aren't we? So let's go explore this new level. Um, there's... I stop saying, um, I mean, I feel like I'm like, like, weird. But anyways, we... I'm trying to prevent myself from saying that word, covering it up with complete silence. Therefore, I'm just going to say that word so, like, I sound less metered. There's four notes around here, don't forget them. I forgot to read that, there's just two moves here, that's all. Snicker smells tasty dinner. Stay just there. No, I won't! I know how you calamari eat back. Oh, crap. Um, yes, if you shoot eggs at him for a long time, you can kill him. Um, but there's about, actually, believe it or not, there's about four or five snackers in this whole level. And he won't be gone forever. Look at that crab there, it doesn't bother us. Get the health out of the way. Guess what doesn't bother us? Hey, this Nipper's beast, you find nothing without Nipper's help. Help us then, crustacean brain. Grr, cheeky bird need feathers clipping. Oh yeah, let's try it, so head. Okay, I don't know why I read, because I'm pretty sure most of you can read. But again, it's fun. Okay. Arr. Bro, are you hurt, Nipper? It makes me mad. It's like dog's nip. You're more of a claw person. Fear the claw! Where is that from? I can't remember where that's from, but I know it's a really funny quote. You must fear the claw. <laughs> um, Mo was open back there. So I, mean, I watched NCS's play through this game, and ever since then, I've had a tendency to go Ekum Bokums instead of Mumble Tuffers. Uh, you, you other LPers, seriously. I get like all my quotes mixed up with theirs somehow. I don't even say theirs. Do I? Okay. Oh, another jiggy for our collection. We now have one in Treasure Trove, and we have 13 in the game itself. And, um, I said the word again, this game. Oh, okay, we're going to, where are we going to go next? Um, this level's, well, actually all the levels are kind of like this, but this one actually has walls to do it with. The level's kind of divided in sections. And I prefer to like complete one section and then move on to the next. I'll go to this one. This one's actually real easy. So this is um, Captain Blubber, who has musical notes in the trees around his ship. Um, his ship crashed when he tried to drive over dry land with the giant bow that barely fits in this water hole right here. Anyway. I don't know, it's just, look, look, there's dry land everywhere but that little bit there. It's like, he tried to drive that way. Because, I don't know, he's a bad boat driver, I guess. This is your big chance, chicken legs. It's time for you to fly. At last, it better be easy, dry eyes. Simple enough, easy for you. Just for brain, just stand on the flying disc, press A, and you turn something better, touch you into the air. See you. Yeah. Oh crap! This this pirate ship. I am a seaman. Wait. What? Did I just say? Okay, so little token right there, of course. They always gotta hide it where you never think of looking. And over here, into the hole in the grounds. It's like the beach is pussy. Get that token. There we go. Get those notes down there. And right there. 
Oh, hoy there. I am a lover's treasure. And I have a horrible pirate accent because I'm not a pirate, sadly enough. Okay, that was weird. And yes, I will be doing an LP for the sequel of this game. Um, I, I have time, I have like time and patience to do it, and I'm sure you do too, that is a really good game. Um, both banjos are really good, all banjos, there's five of them, duh. Um, I played four of the five banjo games, and they're all really good. Okay, we need to find a way underneath this guy, without him hurting us to death. Oh well, that worked. Well, he's gone, isn't he? I mean, we took two damage, but he's gone. It's like, it's funny, but that's exactly how they do it in Super Mario with Thousand Year Door, bomb bombs. If they blow up on you, they're dead, but you take two damage at the same time. And yes, the bomb bombs in that game are really annoying, in my opinion, because you spend so much time killing them just for like one or two XP, just because they all blew up on you. Or you use multi jump and get a one hit kill on each one. And it's really stupid to waste my it's a waste of your time to fight him. See when the bullet goes, dang, it's a waste of a lot of your time. Lee leaky, no good for water. Can bear block hole with pebble. Can leaky talk in proper language? No, because Leaky never took grammar classes. Okay, put two eggs in there. Leaky patched up. Now empty water for bear. Now we'll go to language class. And this is Sandcastle Floor. Um, this room looks pretty useless, but you will be returning here a lot if you like to use cheat codes. Because this is exactly where you enter them all at. And there are three you will unlock, and they expect you to put in, to double your items. Hey, Furball, you're looking wise. Solve my puzzle and win a prize. What are you rhyming for? What's all the rhyming in this game? Is that like a thing for... Talking crabs and witches. They should be able to talk, hopefully. I don't know what happens if they couldn't. Banjo Kazooie. Yeah, you gotta, put, you gotta spell Banjo Kazooie. And if you can't spell two things one, I pity you. Second, um. Shouldn't even be playing this game. But anyways. Second, uh, here's your first spelling lesson. Third, you should hang out with Leaky more. He's your kind of guy. And right here, the gate will open. The gate opens to reveal your prize, but first I'll s cut you down to size. Okay. No, we'll cut you down to size using Kazooie Beak. Get your jiggy. That's 14 in this entire game. Um, two in this level. Um, I shouldn't really point that out. You can kind of see it at the bottom of the screen. And... Okay. There's a health right here. That guy really hurt us, apparently. Believe it or not, I got damaged by one of the easiest mini-bosses in this game. Wow. And I'm like, not bragging or anything, but I am like one of the best in this game. <laughs> You'll reach new heights with my shock jump spring. Does Kazooie do it? My legs are tired. Don't worry, the turkey does all the work. Simply stand on a shock jump disc and then press and hold A. Nice going, you've learned all the code's new moves. And he didn't refill our health because we wasted those two honeycombs down there. Which he could have gotten for us. Wow, that was so wasted. Use that one. It looks like it's like a learn to move type thing you don't need, but it actually gives you a bubble token. And to do this, you got a whole day. I forgot to say that. And there's musical notes in this one. We all know it. Musical notes being good things. And we all know it's the end of this episode, so thank you for watching. In the next episode, we will tackle the rest of this area. Thank you for watching.